What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, cracking open a booster battle pack. This is from the uh, standard 2013 core set. What you get inside is two uh, 20 card semi-randomized decks, two 15 card uh, booster packs from M13, a learn to play guide, as well as a rules insert. So basically, a, you know, allegedly, if you've never played the game before, you can get one of these and uh, rock out a little two-player game. So here's your decks. They should separate, you'd think, right? Huh. They look like they do. There we go. So it breaks out into two boxes. And let's see what uh, is happening in each one. I don't know exactly how you would build a deck on 20 cards, but I suppose there's a quick little game that you can play. And so you've got your 2013 core set booster battle pack. Now this tells you how to use your two player pack of war deck. And uh, I'm assuming um, it ties a little bit about booster drafting um, and then how to do the uh, pack wars. So it says, like, if you and a friend each have a booster pack and some basic land, you're ready for pack wars. Each player opens his or her booster without looking at the cards. Add in three of each basic land, Plains Island, Swamp, Mountain, Forest. Shuffle your deck and begin a game. So it's basically saying, like, you can take some lands, which are probably included in here, and uh, just add it right to your little booster pack and a bunch of little kind of intro games. So what's in here, um, we've got... Blood Throne Vampire, Essence Strain, Distant Tomb, Walking Corpse, Rise from the Grave. Then we got Five Lands, and then we've got Searing Spear, Canyon Minotaur, Wall of Flyer, Kindled Fury, Furnace Whelp, and uh, Five Red Lands. So it's like you get a creature, a couple spells, five land of each color, and you can just basically go. And you can have some fun with your boosters. Um, here we go. You've got Even Squire, Guardians of Akrasa, Divine Favor, War Clamp Mastiff, Sarah Angel. That's kind of cool. At least they give you a, There's a, like one uncommon in each pack, it looks like. Then for the blue, we've got Scroll Thief, uh, Vedalkin and Trancer, Downpour, Unsummon. Jace Phantasm is another uncommon. And your five lands. So they're both, <laughs> both decks are, are pretty futile. But let's see if their respective boosters can help them out. Just for funsies, let's, let's crack these and, and see what's going on in here. Let's check out their un uncommons and rares. So we've got another Furnace Whelp, so we know that can go in that deck if we wanted. Angelic, Angelic Benediction, that could go in the other deck. Tormon's Tomb. Oh, and our rare happens to be a Mythic. Good score. Vampire Nocturnus. This is a uh, play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is black, Vampire Nocturnus and other vampire creatures you control get plus two, plus one, and have flying. Plus it's also a 3-3 three, three creature for a four drop. Gotta say. Pretty nice to get a Mythic in your little dual deck. I mean, Mythics are always nice in general, but if it was like literally your first booster ever and you could pull the Mythic, that would be pretty sweet, right? We've got Crimson Muckwhiter, Harbor Bandit, Revive, and it looks like our rare is red, so we would be able to use it. Magma Quake. Right on. This is a 2 red plus X, and um, basically the X is... Uh, deals X damage to each creature without flying and each planeswalker. So you pay your two red and then whatever mana you have left that you can commit. You can pretty much, if as long as you don't have any flying creatures, you can do some serious damage. All right, so this is actually a, a really great way to kind of break into the game. If you're a more experienced player, I don't know why you'd be buying this, but uh, I suppose there are some, some cases if you want to do a little bit of a booster battle or whatever, keep it simple. Um, you know, that's all right too. So this is the uh, two-player battle pack for M13 corset. 
If you have any questions or comments, uh, post them up on down below. Make sure you take a second to uh, subscribe and uh, crush that like button. And we'll keep the uh, product unboxings and tutorials rolling out uh, as much as you guys let us know you like it. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you real soon.